Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. We hope you have a great weekend this weekend, so let's quiet ourselves as we begin our morning prayer for this Friday. St. Peter, one of Jesus' apostles, was the leader of the early Christian church. He writes to his congregation to love and serve one another without complaining. We are to use our gifts to bring glory to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will, I will praise your name forever, Lord. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each one of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Think about this silently in your heart. What gifts or talents has God given you? How might you use them to serve others? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church and our leadership, may we work together to find unity, healing, and peace. May we be a sign of God's love in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we be bearers of Christ in our world, signs of holiness to others, beacons of faith, gentleness, and wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Transform our minds and our hearts. Free us from judgment, bitterness, and anger, that we may, that we may be open to your spirit, inspired, guided, and directed towards holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in special need, the sick, the addicted, the dying, and the grieving. For all who suffer in this pandemic and its effects, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Dear God, you have blessed us with many gifts. Help us to use our talents to glorify you in all that we do, and to better serve one another in your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. We are here this morning to announce our October book for One Book, One School. We all had such a great time learning about Carl. I cannot wait for you to hear the next title. Do you want to know? Should we? Okay. So we did have on Monday, we had our big banner out and we had children getting ready to guess the title of the book and we actually had two winners. So our two winners who got it exactly right are Adeline from Miss Barraza's class and Andrew Smith in second grade. <laughs> Good job. Come on up. So um, our next book is Giraffe Problems. Your book is in our classroom. Just, was it, were you guys close? 
No one thought bacon problems? I heard that the giraffe looked like bacon, no? Okay. A lot of giraffes can't dance. Giraffes can't dance, yes. So in this book, Edward the giraffe can't understand why his neck is as long and bendy and, well, as ridiculous as it is. No other animal has a neck this absurd. He's tried disguising it, dressing it up, strategically hiding it behind bushes. Honestly, anything you can think of, he's tried. Just when Edward has exhausted his neck hiding options and is about to throw in the towel, a turtle swoops in. Well, he ambles in very slowly and helps him understand that his neck has a purpose and looks ex excellent in a bow tie. Friends, I hope you understand, you'll enjoy this book and um, get to really experience the conversations and the connections that it will make across classrooms. So let's give it up for Giraffe Problems. Yeah. 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 Good job. Yesterday, your boys soccer and girls volleyball teams played at cathedrals. Both teams won with great play by everyone. The middle school Ice Cream Social is October 22nd here in the courtyard from 3.15 to 4.30. If you want to attend, please contact a student council member to pay the $5 attendance fee in advance. October 22nd is also a dollar dress out day and the proceeds will go to St. Jude Children's Hospital. Today, Today is also the last day of the Franciscan experience, so if you want to buy anything, get it soon. Thank you for all of your support. We have some birthdays to celebrate for today and the weekend. Today, in seventh grade, James Elliott. We have a very special staff birthday, Mrs. McFeely. In fifth grade, Kaylin McGrordy. In third grade, Lucas Ramirez. In second grade, Riley Glisson. In eighth grade, Taylor Osborne. On Saturday, in fifth grade, Graham Everhart. In seventh grade, Jack Watson. Yeah. Yeah, we have a very special staff birthday, Mrs. Doggett. Yeah. On Sunday, in fourth grade, Austin Harris. today and the weekend. Happy birthday! Please join me in saying the prayer before the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart, and give me a correct faith, a certain hope, a perfect charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may carry on your holy and true command. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Don't
don't forget about the Franciscan Experience Friday. Yay! Yay! Yay, Franciscan Experience! Yay!